We've all had the opportunity to listen to successful businessmen, wealthy entrepreneurs, heads of industries, and really gain insight into what it took for them to create wealth and build uber successful businesses. You know, get an understanding of their daily business practices and how some are up at the crack of dawn, 4 a.m. and they're doing these 18 to 20 hour work days and surviving off a of four hour sleep and they're doing this week in and week out, year over year over year with no days off. Really just sitting and, and, and they're pouring out how they have made so many sacrifices, not just on the professional side, but also on the personal side. Sacrifices that most people, although most people say they want to be rich, would never be willing to sacrifice, even if that meant financial freedom. Me personally, I'm all for capitalism. I'm all for entrepreneurship. You guys already know that. And if you're a person that's watching this video and your idea of the best week ever is doing 100 to 120 hours in the office and staying up all night and working and surviving on very little sleep, then I say kudos to you. Go out there, make your millions, create this huge um, business that we'll all read about one day. I'm all for it. But on the other hand, if you're a person that doesn't measure your success based on the size of your bank account, doesn't measure success based on dollars and cents, if for you it's important to be a good, a good person in your community, a good family member, a good father or mother, if this is what does it for you, then I say kudos to you. Don't get caught in the hype, guys. You know, mass media, Pop culture, it would have you believe that success, you are not successful unless you live in a big house, unless you're driving a fancy car. If you don't have three, four, five cars in your garage, you're not successful. If your bank account don't have six and seven zeros behind it, you are not successful. And for many of you who are watching this video, you're like, that doesn't do it for me. You know, I wanna be comfortable. I actually like coming home. I love my wife. I love my husband. I love my family. I love going out and just being a good neighbor, being that person in the community that people know they can count on. That's what success is to me. I'm just fine, you know, driving in a car that's an economy car and gets me from point A to point B. No different than your luxury car gets you. I say it's just fine. You know, it's funny because I don't want it to seem like a contradiction because I know I make this, these, these videos and I put content out all the time really encouraging people to chase your dreams, really go after your goals, you know, don't settle for less. And that is great. But life is a balance. It's a scale, right? You know, it's, it's one thing to, to go out and make millions of dollars. But if you don't have a quality of life, if you're not spending time with those people who love you the most and you love the most, something is wrong because life can't be all about dollars and cents. I think of my grandfather who is the single most impactful person that's ever been in my life. This guy was the pastor and bishop of our church and he spent all of his time in the community, trying to bring souls into the church, trying to get people saved. And as far as I know, when he passed away, he wasn't a rich man, not by a long shot. But when he passed away at his funeral, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people came out to bid him farewell. And this man was 89 years old, 89. He wasn't rich but he spent his life enriching others. And because of that, he was successful. He left here successful. I had the opportunity to watch um, some old footage um, on a documentary last week of one of the most successful and impactful people that's ever walked planet Earth, Dr. Martin Luther King. And they were showing some of his home footage. And as I'm watching it, I'm like, whoa, you know, they didn't live in a mansion, very modest home. You know, everything about their home was extremely modest. 
And Dr. Martin Luther King has done something amazing. This, this entire world has been changed by what he stood for and what he believed. But it wasn't about money. And, you know, he was able to go out there, had nothing to do with financial gain, but still change the world and impact so many lives. That's success. And there's nothing wrong with it. So if you're a person and you're watching these videos, and, and trust me when I tell you, I do not want to sound like, like I am contradicting myself because tomorrow I may make a video totally about go out there and, and you know create this million dollar business. I don't want to sound like a contradiction, but all work and no play doesn't make sense because this life, when we are all on our deathbeds and we are looking over our lives, it's not going to be about how much money we have in the bank. It's not going to be about how big of a business that we built. It's going to be, was I loved? You know, did I love? Did I give back? Did I touch other people? Were other people's lives enriched because they came in contact with me? This is, in the end, what's important. So please, guys, don't, mis don't mistake, you know, financial success with life success. Have no illusions. You know, quality of life, being that stay-at-home parent, that parent who's there for your child, that, that's, that's value. That, that's, that's, that's value that you can't even put a, a, a dollar amount on to be the, to be the one that when your child comes home, you're there to greet them. You're there to study with them, have dinner with them. You know, that is valuable. Don't buy in to the BS that this world and that so many people would love you to, to think that you are not successful if your bank account does not reflect it. That's wrong. That's absolutely wrong. I want everybody to chase their dreams. But if your dreams does not include becoming wealthy, go after it. If it fulfills and feeds something in your soul and in your spirit, that is the direction you should be taking. Peace and love, guys. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.